Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Atisha. In this video, we are going to build our first Vision OS app using Swift UI. If you haven't watched the previous video in the series where we have talked about the fundamental concepts required in order to get started with Vision OS app development, I would highly recommend you to go and watch that videos as we are going to use those concepts over here. The link of it is given in the description box and also at the top. So without any further delay, let's get started. In order to build a Vision OS app, there are primarily three requirements. The first one is you should have a Mac with Apple Silicon. Secondly, you should have Xcode version 15.2 or higher. And thirdly, you should have a Vision OS simulator. If you don't have it, let me quickly show you how you can download it. So if you go to Xcode and go to settings, here if you go within platforms, we have this Vision OS mentioned. If you don't have it, you can click on get and install it for your Xcode. Since we have all of these three things, we can start building our project. So for creating the project, you can simply click on create new project and you would have previously used iOS, Mac OS, Watch OS or TV OS. But for now, we have a different option that we need to choose, which is Vision OS and select app from here and click on next. Now you can give your project some name. I have given it exploring Vision OS. This team organization identifier and bundle identifier, this you would have been using from your previous uh, Swift UI app development experience as well. So you can set them accordingly. Two different things that are here that you need to focus on are initial scene and immersive space renderer. We previously talked about that Swift UI gives us three different scenes for Vision OS app development, windows, volumes, and full spaces. So for now, since we are uh, just building our first application, we'll play with windows. And since we are currently not focusing on full spaces, so this immersive space render will set as none and then click on next. So we have our first Vision OS app ready with the boilerplate code that Apple provides. So let's first go to this exploring Vision OS app file that gets generated where we can define the main entry point for our application. Now here, you would have seen this file many times while building a Swift UI project and this one is no different. For creating a window in Vision OS app, it is as simple as adding a window group to a scene. And we can see that here within a window group, we have the content view. Now let's go to this content view file and make some modifications. So I'll remove this code from here and whatever you are seeing right now to my right is a window. So this glass container is nothing but a window and the rest of the area that you are seeing is called the space. And right now our app is launched in a shared space, which is the default setting. That means I can have more than one app open at the same time on this, in this particular space, right? So let's start by using some of the Swift UI views that we already know. So let's add a text. And for adding the text, we know that if you are coming from Swift UI background, you would be knowing that for adding a text, we simply write text. And within these inverted commas, we simply write the text that we want to show. So let's write Hello Vision OS. And also, we will change its font style to large title. So to our right, we can see our text is displayed. Similarly, we can uh, play around and add some other Swift UI views as well. Let's add a button to it. So we'll write button, add the text that we want to show on the button. So let's give it something random, go to settings. And within this curly braces, you can define the action that you want your button to perform. And we can also change the background color of it by using the modifier tint. And let's give it a color of orange. Let's see how it looks. Okay, now we have a button which says go to settings. Right now it's not doing anything as we haven't given any action to this button to perform. Similar to that, we can also create a list in our Vision OS app. So for doing that, we simply can create multiple text or anything else as well. And let's create three items within our list. Item one, item two, and item three. So here we can see now that we have inserted a text, we have inserted a button, and we also have a list. So similarly, we can play around and add some other Swift UI views as well. Now for this particular tutorial, let's try to add a bit more complex thing, which is a navigation link. So I'll comment all of this out. And for creating a navigation link, we know that we need to use a navigation stack. And within this navigation stack, we will create a vStack. And within this, 
we will first have a text which says hello vision os and again i'll give it a font of large title and apart from that we also need to give it a navigation link so here we need to give it a title so let's give it a title of uh, let's say we the person wants to know more about gramophone this is just a random idea so we can give it something like tell me more about gramophone and we can also give it a value so let's give this value only over here now when we have a navigation link we also need to tell the destination that we want this link to take us to so for giving the navigation destination we have to pass in a few things first is the hashable type since this is a string so we will have to write string dot self and for the destination we'll create a new view for it so let's give this hashable a name let's call it instrument and here we will take the person to a new view let's call it gramophone view and here we'll pass this instrument which we are going to use as a text in our gramophone view so let's give it a name text and pass this instrument looks good so far now we have to create a gramophone view for creating that we'll create a struct we'll call it gramophone view and we want this gramophone view to satisfy to this protocol view and inside it let's create a v stack with some spacing and i want to use this particular text that i have as a title so for doing that we will first have to create this particular variable so we'll create this which is of type string which we can now use over here as a text so we'll pass this text and also give it a font of large title and after that we want to specify some information about gramophone so again we'll create a text so let's try to find something about gramophone from the wikipedia and paste it over here okay so this is what i have been copying from the wikipedia and i'll paste it over here let me also give this a font of title so that it is clearly visible and also we will give this v stack some padding okay now let's try it out so we'll run this on the simulator and see okay so we have our vision os app let's quickly try it out if we click on tell me more about gramophone we are taken to a new view where we have the description of gramophone along with that we also have a title called gramophone okay so this looks good now let's have a quick observation about this window that we have so there are a few things that we can notice over here the first one is right now we have a single window in our application however in our previous video we talked about that we can have multiple windows in our app so in our upcoming video in the series we'll learn how to make multiple windows within our vision os app although it is possible to open windows from other application as well if you click on this home and click any other application that you want to open then you would see that you would have multiple windows open at the same time from different application also you can resize this particular window if you use your hand gestures if you are wearing vision uh, pro then in that case you can increase its size or so you can move it around as well like this and we can also change the scene that you are seeing in the background if you click on this one here you get multiple different option to simulate the scene that you want to create we have kitchen living room and museum so you can change them and play around with them we also have a day and a night version of them so you can see how your app looks like in different scenes like these so you can see how the existing knowledge of swift ui is enabling us to make simple vision os application so a uh, basic understanding of swift ui is a must in order to get started with vision os app development so that's majorly it about this video in the next video we'll learn a new concept that is called ornaments so if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future